right? The app tab. Yeah, that sounds right. Hello, welcome back to the Alienware YouTube channel. I'm Ernie Gonzalez, and today we're going to be going over Killer Control Center 2.0 on the new Alienware Area 51M. The cool thing about uh, Killer Control Center is it works with your wireless killer AC1550 wireless card, which is found inside your Area 51M, and Killer Control Center comes pre installed. So here we are, it's open. We've got Killer Control Center open and I'm basically just gonna break down what it is. I'm gonna tell you the features on it and what's it good for. So let's just get right into it and give you a brief explanation of what Killer Control Center is. Killer Control Center 2.0 is a user interface designed to interact with your killer hardware. Basically, it allows you to control the network traffic on your computer. The coolest part about this app is it automatically finds your killer network adapters and detects applications and website traffic. What does this mean? What does this mean for you? What does it mean? What does it mean? I'll tell you. I'll tell you exactly what it means. This allows it to automatically prioritize high priority apps and websites over other less important traffic. So, I mean, basically it's going to give you the best bandwidth experience possible. That's, that's what it does. So now that we have it open, I mean, the first thing we're gonna see is the overview page. And here on the overview page, if you notice to your right-hand side, there's two icons in the upper right-hand corner. Yeah, upper right-hand corner, my right. And um, the first one you see, uh, this one right here with the lines, is a list of recommended actions. So once you click that, it's gonna open up a list of recommended actions, including suggestions on how to improve your network. I mean, simple. Next is the optimization tab. Here, it's basically gonna show you the number of optimizations performed by Killer that, that um, will improve your experience. So basically, it just shows you what it's optimizing, what it's doing, and it's just telling you that this is what it did to make your experience better. Simple enough. So let's close that. And then we're going to talk about the next tab over. I mean, pretty self-explanatory, the question mark. It's a help icon. You click on the question mark and this icon's, well, it's going to open your web browser to a help site relating to the specific page you were on. So let's go back and let's talk about the overview page and its features. So this page, first of all, gives you a summary of information about what networks you are connected to and shows the total amount of traffic being used, utilized, not used, utilized by each category of apps, right? Simple enough. So that's, that's the main overview page. As, and you see right here, it says killer intelligence engine. Well, that top section right there shows the current status of the killer product. The optimal state will be represented by five green check marks. As you can see, I have all five checked. And if action is needed, like um, let's say it says you need to put in your your bandwidth speed or whatnot, it'll let you notify. It'll notify you there, and basically you can go into the recommended actions, and it'll tell you what to do. So now that I've got it all set up, I got my five check marks, everything's fully optimized. Let's move on to the bottom section. Every app and domain the control center detects is automatically put into these six categories below. Games, real time, streaming, normal, web download, and app download. And it's gonna prioritize by importance. I mean, pretty simple. You can go in and change this if you want yourself. So if you don't want games at the top of your list as priorities for your network, which I mean, that's how I have it because I game. You can go in and just click the arrow down. And as you can see, real time is now uh, got first priority. But that's not how I like it. I like games, so I'm putting it back on top. The next tab that we're going to talk about 
is the apps tab. So just click on that. Boom. Here we go. It opens this up in the app tab. You can manually control each application or allow killer to handle the traffic automatically for you. So, I mean, that's pretty sick. It'll automatically do this for you. So the first thing we see on here is a usage graph on the top right here. It's basically, it's going to show you in real time bandwidth, the usage of your top apps and websites. Underneath, we have a list of apps and websites. Here, we can do several things. We can pin, priority, block, and set the individual speed limit. So if you see here, if you pin, what this does is it lets you place an app or domain at the top of the list. So you pin it up there, it's gonna stay up there. It's gonna be the top priority. Next is priority here, right here. It lets us pick, right? It lets us pick and manually set the priority we think of each app. So if let's say I want, since I'm working right now, I want Creative Cloud to be my top priority. I'm gonna put it at one and voila, it's got, it's got the priority listed to its favor. So, I mean, that's, that's simple enough. Next, we can block. So basically it lets you block the app or traffic to that website completely. It'll just block it completely. So, I mean, that's that. And then we've got these download speed and upload speed. Basically, these are individual speed limits sliders, I guess you would say. Yeah, yeah, because they slide. They're sliders. So they basically just let you adjust how much bandwidth each app can use. I mean, simple, really simple. So here's where you can come in to the app section and you can basically customize what apps you think are your top priority and you can mark them. If not, like I said, it will automatically do it for you. And that's, that's sweet. So, like I did since I changed it. If you don't want to change it, you can just click here and boom, it's going to reset the data for you. Okay. Next tab, we've got the Wi Fi analyzer. On this page, we can get a better picture of the wireless network around us. It lets us use both 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz connections. And we can see, we can basically see what each of those channels has an offering. So as you can see right now, I have it at 2.4 and we can see all the networks around me. If you click on five gigahertz, it'll show you the five gigahertz. And on top of that, it'll show me the current signal strength of each network in range. And you can go more in depth by selecting a specific network, which will display any information that can be gathered on that network. So it'll tell you basically everything you need to know about it down here. So moving on, we're going to go to the next tab. I mean, that's basically what Wi-Fi analyzer is. It's basically analyzing all the connections around you and giving you all the information about it. Shows you on a graph, you can go scroll between five gigahertz and 2.4 gigahertz wireless connections and you can just see. Next tab, we're going to go with the game fast tab. This is a sweet feature. All right, let me explain this to you. If you enable game fast, it pauses selected services and frees cached memory so that games can use these extra system resources to bring you the best experience while gaming. I mean, also built in, you can toggle up here. If you see, you can toggle it on. And basically what this does is it puts game fast in an automatic mode. This feature, if you have it on enables game fast, when a game is detected, it will automatically pause selected services and clear the memory cache upon starting a game. So all I have to do is toggle that on and it'll automatically do this. If you don't toggle this on and you want to go manually, you can enable game fast like so, and it'll say active. And you can go through the list of apps 
down here and basically you can just click on what you what you want to uh, clear the memory cache of. I mean, I basically, I don't, I run it auto because it's so simple. It's automatic. You don't have to do nothing. You just click on and it's auto does it for you to give you the best gaming experience you can possibly have. So that's, if that's not sweet, I don't know what is. I mean, come on. So let's move it on to the extend tab or extend page. So let me explain to you what this is. Killer Wireless Extend gives our computer the power and the functionality of a Wi-Fi extender. So basically, you can turn your Area 51M into a Wi-Fi extender for your house so you can get better range on your wireless. Signal. So basically, if you enable it on right here, boom, it's on. It's gonna show you a Wi-Fi status right here. And it has three colors, I believe. I think it's green, yellow, and gray. And green meaning you're at the, you know, you're, you're, you're good to go. Your wireless status is perfect. Everything's awesome. You, you're good to extend it. You're good to turn it into your, your wireless extender. So, once you check your status, make sure everything's cool, it's green. Next, we can choose extend current network or hotspot. I normally do extend current network, me, my preference, because extend current network allows Killer Wireless Extend to automatically detect and clone the credentials of your current internet connection. And it basically just turns your computer into that wireless extender automatically. If you click on the hotspot mode, this gives you manual control over your wireless hotspot and allows you to customize the SSID and password. And last but not least, I'm gonna put it back on extending mode because that's the way I like it. And last but not least, I'm gonna take you to the settings mode. No, I don't wanna change that. To the settings page, sorry. Finally, the settings page. As you can see, it's my network settings. It's gonna tell me what network I'm on, if I'm connected, what's my download speed, what's my upload speed. A cool feature about this network setting is, here you can go in and set your bandwidth limits. So I did it, but I didn't put it in manually because I didn't know what the studio bandwidth was. So what you do is you can hit test bandwidth and it's automatically gonna run a test and it's gonna fill in these two, um, these two columns for you. It's gonna fill in your download speed and your upload speed automatically. Boom, you test it and it, it pretty much populates it for you. You got your adapter info, like I said, basically just telling you about your killer wireless AC1550 wireless card and the IP address. And basically it's just your info dump right there. And then on the bottom, we have system settings. You get to see this advanced steam detect toggle button. You see it right here? right? I have it on. So this automatically classifies and prioritizes all traffic for a better experience and allows you and allows you to manage the traffic manually. So you have to have this enabled. It comes enabled. Okay. You don't have to turn it on. You can turn it off if you don't want to, but it comes enabled. Next, we've got access point. The access point, I mean, this keeps track of all our access points we have connected to and stores the download and upload settings. So basically everywhere you've connected your Area 51M, it's gonna keep the settings for, for that for the access point that you got. So it's gonna keep your settings. Next, we have download latest app priorities. This is just that. It allows us to download an updated list of detections and priorities. I mean, that's simple enough. So access point basically shows you where I've connected my Area 51M. I've had it connected before wired. I've had it at my house wirelessly and in the studio. So it shows you your access point and download latest apps. I mean, I just told you what it is. You download 
and update a list of detections and priorities. Simple. Well, I mean, <laughs> that's what Killer Control Center 2.0 is and does. And those are all the features that come built into the Alienware Area 51M and other Alienware products that uh, are infused with Killer products. So it's a pretty sweet relationship, pretty sweet things we got going on together. And it's a sick um, software that basically gives you the best bandwidth experience you can possibly have. So that's awesome, right? Well, thank you guys for tuning in and spending your, some time here with me in the Alienware YouTube channel. I'm Ernie Gonzalez. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter at SpaceCase522. You know the drill. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave us a comment down below. Hit that bell. I appreciate all of you guys. Thank you, and I'll catch y'all later. Peace.